on this episode of the Evening News. <laughs> That's a little throwback to our uh, our question and answer yeah. video. So hey guys, it's Shannon. And Paul. And we're here today. Yep. Why are yeah. we here today, Paul? Well, <laughs> it's, it's Happy New Year. Happy New Year. First and foremost. Um, so you guys are going to be seeing this video either on the first of the year or slightly after. Slightly before or slightly after. Okay. Not really sure yet, but okay. we're filming this just a couple days before the new year. Yeah, so just in case, uh, in case you don't know, I'm involved in the filming process, but Shannon handles the scheduling of, of the videos for this channel as well as the editing and uploading all that. Um, so I don't get to make any decisions as far as that goes. <laughs> because he doesn't want to, not because he doesn't, isn't allowed to. Right, that's, that's, that's true. <laughs> He likes to just be here to be the, the yeah. beautiful look behind the camera and then he, he's out. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, my, my, my brain power and creativity gets used in another area, which is what we're going to talk about in this video. Actually, too, just to let everybody know, Happy New Year, by the way, like he said. Um, I had filmed a video not that long ago saying Paul wasn't going to be on the channel that much anymore because he had other things going on and other things he wanted to do. And in the new year, it looks like that might change and he might be more involved on the channel than he was. Like you might see That's his possible. beautiful face even more. Well, cool. Thank you. So, okay, right. take it away. All right. So we had teased in a video a few, what, weeks ago now? A few weeks ago. Um, well, uh, it went up this week from when we're filming, so. A couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was the question and answer part one video. Okay, wow. Well, we filmed that a while ago. Okay. We did, we filmed right. it right after Thanksgiving or right before Thanksgiving, but it just went okay. up this week. So. Uh, that's right, because you had some admin talent. Okay, yeah. so anyway, we're way off topic here. We may have to add more videos per week to the channel. Yeah, so we had teased that we were gonna go plant-based on the first of the year. Like Shannon said, we're filming this, few days before it, that is still our plan. Yep. Uh, we have been living it up as far as food goes, uh, <laughs> leading up to that. The um, best, where's, where's the name? The best soda you can get yep. for 99 cents. So I'm gonna be very open and very honest about myself in this video. Um, I wanna start off by saying real quick that, uh, that number one, we are just two people with a dining room table and a Christmas decoration in front of us. <laughs> We are not medical professionals. None of what I'm about to talk to you about is to be taken as medical advice. Um, you yeah. should seek out a professional's opinion. You should do your own research and make your own determination as far as any of that goes. And we're not saying anybody should do this. This is just what we want to do. Exactly. With no that, judgment. Yeah. With that being said, every single one of you should be <laughs> teasing. He's totally teasing. That's a big pet peeve of ours is if people decide to do something different and then start criticizing everybody around them who isn't doing it. Yeah. That's not what we're doing here. All right. So, um, so where do I want to start? Where do you want to start? When I, I was born. <laughs> I am being open and un upfront and honest because I am not wearing any makeup and my hair is still wet from the shower. So yep, see, still look beautiful. I'm, I'm being... You. Yeah. I'm being, <laughs> I'm being open. This is what I look like. Okay, so um, so I have always uh, been fairly athletic. Or when I say always, I mean up until a few years ago, I've always been fairly athletic. I've had physical jobs, and I've always had a very very large appetite. I was one of those people that you're probably going to hate me, but I was one of those people that could just eat whatever I wanted. I could eat the most unhealthy stuff and as much of it as I wanted. And I didn't really put on a lot of weight, and my body shape stayed very athletic. So annoying. And that was without going to the gym at all. That didn't happen for me, but. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, I was just blessed with good genetics as far as that goes. And then the, the physical job that I had kind of took care of the rest. Now, I fluctuated in weight between a, probably about, you know, the mid 180s, 185 to about 200, 210, somewhere in there. And depending on if I did have a desk job or a physical job, my body shape would change a little bit. But overall, I was in pretty good shape. And you're 5'11", so you're tall. Yeah. That, that plays into it. So a couple things have happened. Number one, I have shrunk a little bit. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I would not have believed that. But I actually went and I had myself measured, um, and I'm now somewhere between 5'9 and 5'10", um, so which is sad. crazy because <laughs> I've always thought of myself as a little bit above 5'11". Um, you know, so I was always one of those, I'm just under six foot. 
the, really, the thing is, I was always 5'11", and he was uh, he's always been just a little bit shorter than yeah. me, but he always envisioned himself being taller. Right, and, 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 and so like I said, I went and I actually had myself measured by a medical professional. We talked about it, and, um, and, and over time, especially with men who have physical jobs, their spine can compress, and, posture. and as you see, my posture is sometimes okay. Sitting straight. So like if I sit up straight like this, it's pretty good. But you know, of course, I'm normally like this. Bad posture can make you shorter. I didn't know that. I but now you do. So anyway, so having come off of a UPS truck uh, five years ago, all your people, all you people's packages weighed them down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally just kidding. To focus on YouTube full time. Um, Exercise for me has really gone out the window, except for we were going to the gym regularly for a while. Uh, that happened at exactly the same time that we stopped being plant-based. So we were plant-based for about three years prior to that. And um, and I was probably in the best shape of my life. Like, I, I mean that ever, the best shape of my he life. He was like a superhero. Yeah. He um, could have worn one of the little skin-tight outfits and been all bulky. Well, I had one. I had the shirt, remember? The Superman shirt? You did, yeah. I still have the shirt, so we'll see if I can get back. <laughs> You're going to put the shirt on? That's no, you know. not right now. <laughs> okay, that so, would be open and honest. So, at my lowest weight then, and I am not somebody that fixates on weight, I'm just telling you the numbers so you can kind of understand uh, kind of my journey with this. Like how I work that word journey into it. I, I do, <laughs> I like that. So, um... So I was right around 170. I was just below 170 pounds. Now that was actually very, very lean for me. Pure muscle. Um, yeah, it, it, it kind of was. Um, he didn't have an ounce of fat anywhere on his right. body. Right. And if you actually go back and you look at our very, very early videos where you know where I was on camera, there's you can a plant based see video. <laughs> so I almost hit, almost hit over this holiday season 240 pounds. He was trying so hard that he missed by two pounds. So we're joking. We're, we're kind of joking about that and kind of not. Okay. So this is going to be a horrifying story for those of you who are really, really health conscious. But our, we had a scale. We got, got a great scale. It's in Shannon's bathroom. Um, but the batteries had run out. We haven't had batteries that worked in that scale for about five months, six months. Sure. Somewhere around there. And, um, you know, I knew that I, was, I, knew that I was, had been gaining some weight. And getting the batteries to the scale just wasn't that important to me. Neither Shannon nor I, you know, worship the scale. We don't, we don't go and and get on every morning. It's just not our thing. Um, so it didn't really matter that the batteries weren't the scale. Knowing that this video was coming up, I wanted to get those numbers for you. So I, I got new batteries and I put them in. And I got on the scale. And I was like, Oh my gosh, the scale's lying. I knew it wasn't. <laughs> I was in the bathroom and he went. <gasps> yeah, um, I like to make all kinds of dramatic sounds. You still scale. hot. Well, thank you. Um. So I, I looked, yeah, yeah, I looked down and the number was like 238.4. So I joked with Sham. I was, uh, she, she asked what it was. That's the highest number I've ever had. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it was wild. Uh, it, it, was, it was really kind of crazy. Funny. So we joked around that I could hit 240 before the end of the year. Since that moment of getting on that scale, I have not changed the way that we've been eating at all, haven't, haven't been conscious about, it, but I actually have lost a few pounds. So right now, as we film this video today, which today is December 29th, I'm sitting at like 232. So go me. Go oh, you. <laughs> um, I hate how easy men can lose weight. It's just yeah. like he thinks about losing weight and just poof. So I, th I think it was just at that moment, you know, maybe I was a little bit bloated or something. I, I was standing on the scale behind him, <laughs> pushing. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the, the things that people, people say. When they weigh themselves. Anyway. Um, water weight. Yeah, it was water weight. That, I don't know. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Uh, for whatever reason, I was just retaining that weight at that time. And yeah, so I have been at about the mid-230s for a while. Um, but actually, kind of, kind of the lower mid-230s. Like 230 to 234-ish is the numbers that I'm kind of used to. And my body feels about the same that it has been feeling. So the 238.4 really surprised me. Um, but anyway... So I barely missed 240, but I would really like to get back down to about the 180s, some, somewhere in there um, wow. it, it is, is where I would really like to get. Now, I don't have all day to spend at the gym, and honestly, uh, as far as being just Shocking is cardio. It is, but I don't do it regularly enough. Um, 
And honestly, I'm, I'm probably just, being honest, I'm, I'm not going to be very disciplined about going and being more active. I should be, but um, I'm probably just not going to do that right now. Um, because <laughs> honestly, with, with this extra weight, it's hard. Um, I get winded going up and down the stairs multiple times. I can force myself Thank to you. do it. And he wonders why I never wanted to go to the gym. It's hard work. So, um, the other thing is a lot of the foods that we had been eating, I really noticed a difference in the way that I felt. I just didn't have the energy levels that I wanted to have. Um, having been plant-based for, for about three years, um, we definitely do have the experience that we can say that that you, you do just feel there, or at least we felt differently. Um, I certainly did. So for us, the easiest, the easiest thing is to go back to doing that. We, we both, based on books that we've read, documentaries that we've watched, um, we both feel it's a healthy eating plan. Um, it's something that's, that's pretty easy to do once you get into it. Um, it's, it's a big adjustment. It's a very it's, large adjustment. So I have to clarify a few things. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I feel, I feel um, like I got off track somehow. I wouldn't say that it's an easy thing to do because there's a ton of prep work and thought that has to go in a and, and planning and um, to being plant-based. So I don't think it's easy from that standpoint. Like it's much easier to swing through drive through or something like that. Word. But it's easy. Boy, I'm sweating. It's easy to enjoy eating that way once you start eating that way. So I'm going to give just a little bit of a throwback in case you didn't see that old video of okay. ours. Um, when we did the video about being plant-based before, like Paul said, it was about three years we were plant-based. Toward the end, it kind of got plant-based light. <laughs> plant-based plus lots of baked goods. Yeah. So... Um, we had watched a documentary back then and we're like, wow, you know, I wonder, like, supposedly it's really good for inflammation and health reasons and all these things. And yeah. we're like, let's give it a try. We decided to try it for one week mm -hmm. just to see what we thought. And I didn't think it was going to work. So I'm not a big meat eater, so I wasn't worried about that. But I love dairy. I love cheese. So I'm like, okay, well, this isn't going to work. Well, but I decided, you know, I'm giving it a week. I think it was two or three days in both of us like immediately could tell differences and it was amazing how good we felt and yes. then it only got better from there so that's why that's why we did it so long and that's why I have the problem with just saying it's easy because we got burnt out we got worn out especially me because yeah. I was doing all the cooking at the time and I hate cooking anyway so having to constantly be creative to come up with when we're talking plant-based, that's no meat, no dairy, you know, no cheese, no bacon, no butter, right. no white flour products we didn't eat. Um, yeah, that that was our definition of plant-based. Yeah. Um, like like Shannon said, traditionally the definition of plant-based would be no meat, no animal products, no meat, no dairy. Uh, what else? It's basically some, like some, some people do no honey. We were doing a little. It's about. basically very similar to being vegan except yeah. it's just from the health standpoint whereas yeah. a lot of people that are vegan are vegan for an environmental or a socially aware reason as well and plant-based is kind of just about the, the health of it yeah. just the diet side of it right but basically it's the same yeah um we we had eliminated the white flour mostly just simply because we were we kind of had the idea that we're being we're doing this for our health and there's no studies out there saying white flour is good for you. So it was kind of like, well, why not just get the extra fiber and the extra nutrition from whole wheat as opposed to white flour? Um, we also had cut out basically all processed foods. Oh, yeah. In the, in the beginning, towards the end, we had lots of processed foods, <laughs> lots of potato chips. And, and that was the other thing that food. I was going to say with it is just that um, totally lost my train of thought now that you talked about potato chips and... What were, what was right. I say? We're not plant based yet. That, that so that's another thing. So while mental watching mental clarity, yeah, mental clarity is something that actually approved, improved for us a lot. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember. There you go. Ah. See, <laughs> so um, the reason why we decided in the past and why we've decided again to go plant based is I know a lot of you watching are going to be like, but you can eat really healthy without being plant based if you do it in yes. moderation. 
And you're absolutely correct. If you're one of those people that believe that, you're totally correct. Paul and I are not good at moderation, moderation. which is great because that's why we have the YouTube success that we have. Because when we do something, we go all in, we go gung-ho. And if we try to have cheese in moderation or ice cream in moderation or you know, a hamburger in moderation, we can't do it. We're just not good at that. So we have to be like all or nothing. That's right. Which is why you put on 60 pounds. Cause when we went back to all, I went all. <laughs> and we're not talking about my weight. Cause you know, that's just not something. I'm yeah. That's just not something you do. About. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So as, as we're getting older, what we are noticing. So just so you know, I'm 45 years old. Um, Rub it in for a little bit. He's younger than me. I just turned 46. Okay. So Shannon did it. So there you go. It's out there. So I'm 45. Shannon is 46. Um, basic. I, I'm, I might as well call myself 46. But, you know, carrying that extra weight, it, it's just getting harder and harder to to lose that. Um, there's somebody going by on a really short, like, little scooter. <laughs> I'm getting distracted from the window. Sorry. There are two boys yeah. outside, and they're like... They were on scooters, but they like yeah, I, were squatting on them or something. I don't know. It was I, really weird. I feel like Doug from Up. Squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. Got distracted there. So yeah. Anyway, um, as we're getting older, we're, you know, I wake up in the morning. I don't feel as rested uh, as far as sleep goes. There's just a lot of things with getting older that if you're younger, I'm sure everybody who's older has always told you about these things. It is true. It does happen. It will catch up with you um, yes. eventually. Really and, quick. And so, so this is something that is, this is something that for us we can change. And while, while what Shannon said is right, it's difficult to plan out. It's difficult to execute as far as there being a lot of prep work. So you need to build into your day time for that. Um, it's an easy fix, in my opinion, when you consider the alternatives. Like I'm not really interested in going uh, like on some kind of medication or something if I don't need to. If I can change this and avoid that, that for me is a wonderful trade-off. Um, so that's that's kind of why we're doing that. So uh, Shannon mentioned a couple docu- Shannon mentioned doc- the documentary. Document- documentary we watched years ago that kind of got us interested in the idea was Forks Over Knives. Uh, still a great uh, documentary. Um, I definitely recommend it. And then on top of that, I recommend doing your own research about the things that interest you about that. Uh, there's a lot of good information out there. And there's some people who have written things detracting some things that were presented. Um, you're going to need to make your own, you know, your own decisions and your own opinions about that. There's a new documentary that's out on Netflix called The Game Changers. It may be on Amazon and on Hulu as well. I'm not sure. But I believe that was directed by James Cameron. And it stars like all these, you know, professional athletes. Um, really good documentary. Again, just kind of furthering that body of work and knowledge. Again, it makes some claims which have been uh, the subject of several YouTube videos. Um, once again, do your own research, make your own decisions about that. For me, kind of having been a person that's been plant-based for a few years in the past um, and understanding my own personal experience with it. It was nice because I I was very quickly able to say, yeah, I totally agree with that. Okay, that sounds maybe like it's true, but mm, maybe, you know, maybe whatever. So anyway, so that's kind of why we're making those decisions. Um, I told you my weight and everything uh, not to, not to kind of like be like, oh, wow, I'm so unhealthy or, you know, people this weight are in bad shape or wow, before I was really healthy. Um, I was doing that more so for you guys um, because I'm planning on as we go through the year, maybe just kind of updating that, like how this is going. Um, and a weight is just a really easy number to kind of track and keep, you know, keep in there. So I actually have, uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but I actually have <laughs> three or maybe four sizes of clothes downstairs in my closet. And so do I. People have commented um, on, why do you have so many clothes? And it's like, well, that's actually like three different sizes. So it's really not that many clothes per size. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so like for me, for me, I definitely have three different sizes of shirts. I have mediums, larges, and extra larges. Um, right now I'm in, I'm in the extra larges and uh, they're, they're pretty tight. Um, the mediums, I can't even fit in around. <laughs> Looks pretty bad. Um, but anyway, but I've kept them because they're nice clothes and because, you know, I mean... 
hey, hashtag goals. <laughs> but pants Obviously, are, we're not yeah. a decluttering or minimalism channel. <laughs> right, right. We've had the space where I can keep it. But uh, pants, I actually have like four different sizes of jeans because I'm sick. And I've said this in other videos. Um, if, I find a, if I find something I like and I find a good deal on it, I tend to stock up. Like I have this chipmunk or squirrel mentality where I like hoard stuff. He's a ferret. <laughs> He um, doesn't fear it's a good deal at the except store. For the, except for the jeans aren't shiny. They have little light buckles that are shiny. Yeah, anyway. Like, anyway, so yeah, so like around this time of year when all the department stores put things on sale, I'd find a pair of jeans that I like and I'd buy three or four pair. It's worked out because he's been able to give the smaller ones to our sons. <laughs> yeah, it has. That, that has worked really well. But like I still like these pairs of jeans are in my closet now mocking me. Like remember when you used to fit in me? <laughs> Not anymore, buddy. <laughs> so... Okay, so, anyway. so did you feel like you got to say what you wanted to say? I think so. I think so. I, 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 I don't know. If you've got any specific questions about this, please leave them in the comments and we'll definitely do like a follow-up video to this. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of what the deal is. <laughs> go ahead. What were you okay, saying? so I was just going to wrap it up yeah, and just ahead. say that, you know, again, we are not telling anybody else to do this. We are not giving advice on it. Um, you have to do whatever works for you guys. We just wanted to explain what we're doing and what we're trying. So a couple of days from now when we're filming and we're really cranky and hangry, you'll know why. <laughs> you'll probably not see that on camera. <laughs> probably not, but behind camera, it may be happening. <laughs> so like Paul said, we will update you. A lot of you have asked again about cooking videos and things like that. Maybe I'll be able to get Paul to share some of his plant-based stuff. We're gonna try we're gonna try, fingers crossed, to film a um, an initial plant-based food haul for you at the store. So you guys said you missed seeing Paul at the store. We're gonna try to do that. Hopefully it works out. Paul in the wild. <laughs> Paul buying bananas. Ooh, how interesting. <laughs> and um, yeah, like he said, if you have any questions, let us know down below and I'll try to catch him in the kitchen chopping up vegetables or something. There you go. So, and thank you for your suggestions. Several of you have already left suggestions on the question and answer video um, saying like different recipes that we could try and different things. Um, so I'm sharing all that with Paul so he can look into that. So thank cool. you so much. Let yep. us know you. your questions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. See you. Bye guys.